Hello students, welcome to SSGN Technologies. Today in this session I will be discussing about SAP. This is a beginner's tutorial that will help you to learn about SAP and why SAP is used in the market and how you can make career in the SAP. So let's get started. First I will let you know what does SAP stands for. The name is the initialization of the company's original name which translates to System Analysis Program and Development that is SAP. What is SAP software? Traditionally, business models often decentralize data management with each business function storing its own operational data in separate database. This makes it difficult for employees from different business functions to access each other. SAP software manage complex functions business process by giving employees of different department easy access to real time insight across the enterprise. It is a type of ERP software. Now what is ERP? ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. The ERP software includes program for all core business areas such as procurement, production, material management, sales, marketing, finance and human resource. The SAP has more than 1,40,000 installations worldwide and over 25 industry specific business solutions and more than 75,000 customers in the 120 countries. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose a client approaches a sales team asking for a particular product. Now what actually happens when there is no ERP software, there is no SAP, how the process goes on? The client contacts the sales team to check the availability of the product. Sales team approaches the inventory department to check for the availability of the product. In case the product is out of the stock, the sales team approaches the production planning department to manufacture the product. The production planning team checks the inventory department for the availability of raw material. If the raw material is not available with the inventory, the production planning team buys the raw material from the vendor. Then the production planning forwards the raw material to the shop floor execution for actual production. Once ready, the shop floor sends the sales team the product. The sales team which in turn deliver it to the client. The sales team update the finances with the revenue generated by the sale and the production planning team update the finance with the payments to be made to the different vendors. All these departments approach the HR if there is any human resource related issue. So this is the typical business process and you know how much communication and data is exchanged and how much data is has to be managed. But when the SAP is used, the process goes on like this. When the customer approaches the sales team to buy the product on an urgent basis, the sales team has a real-time information access to the products in the inventory which is updated by the inventory department in the system. The sales team responds to the customer request on time leading to the increased revenue and customer delight. In case manufacturing is required, sales team update the centralized database that all the departments remain informed about the product. Production planning department is automatically updated by this system and they will check the availability of the raw material which is updated by the inventory department. Data duplication is avoided and accurate data is available. The shop floor team update their manpower status in the central database which can be accessed by the HR department also. In case of shortage of workforce, HR team starts the recruitment process with a considerable lead time to hire the suitable candidate, while vendors directly submit their voices to the central system and can be accessed by the finance department. So what are the key benefits of this SAP software? It eliminates data duplication, discontinuity, it also generates more revenue and customer delight. Now let's look at some of the organizations which are hiring on the basis of SAP and their average salary. TCS with an average package of 6 lakh per annum, Capgemini with an average package of 6 lakh 74,000, Accenture with an average package of 7.34 lakh per annum, IBM with an average package of 7.35 lakh per annum, Infosys with an average package of 8.5 lakh per annum, Deloitte with an average package of 10.61 lakh per annum and SAP with an average package of 13.34 lakh per annum. So guys, if you want to make career in SAP, you can contact at SSDN Technologies.